What's going on you guys? This is Joel Amore here. I'm with my friend Jamie, Jamie Berry. I'm super happy to have her. Well, I'm in her space. So she opened up her own spot. So happy. Tell us about it. Um, well, it's a tavern. So we're really a really funky, kind of cool bar. We are located downtown Elgin, Illinois, mm -hmm. and it's my hometown, so I've lived here mm -hmm. yeah, right? <laughs> uh, my whole life, and yeah. it's been a long time coming. Actually, I realized that I really, really loved being in the industry when I was asked to bartend by Fluke for like somebody mm -hmm. uh, covering a shift, and then a local business owner offered me a job after yeah. that. You've been and holding a lot of spots down. Yeah like running the joint so it's it's really nice I have yeah the, I have a background in management since like 19 so okay. that I, I like to work with people yeah no, that I enjoy <laughs> I've known her forever so it's super cool yeah so so what got you to just say you know what I'm gonna with COVID and everything happening you're just like I'm gonna do this yeah. right now it definitely wasn't planned as you know in the middle of COVID we started the project way before. Okay. Uh, I was at a, another bar, another location, and with that space, it didn't really work out exactly how I planned, so I bowed out, mm -hmm. and one of my great friends called me up after and basically was like, don't give up on your dream. Like, this is like, you're right there. Yeah. If you don't do it now, you're gonna not do it. Yeah, you already know the ins and outs. Yeah, you know he's like, in. if if you don't do it now, mm -hmm. you're you're gonna get complacent, and then you just you just won't in the future. So what do you need? What what can we do to make this happen? That's awesome. Yeah, and we sat down. <laughs> we sat down. And we talked about it, and really, it was a, you know a mixture of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, but we sat down, had a plan, and I told him what my vision was and like why it was important to me, and we hit the ground running. We demoed a space, me and my sister. Um, who is a huge part of the project. She nice. literally is the rock of this place already. So yeah, her. seeing the before and after here was insane. Yeah. Like, the, it, I can't even, you gotta come here <laughs> and see it. Uh, it was an office building before that, and we knocked down all the walls. Yeah, that was nuts. And you kept a lot of the original mm -hmm. flooring and a lot of, a lot of, 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 of the building. Stuff. Yeah, so. uh, the building is really old. It was the original train depot or part of the train depot in Elgin so we kept the floors which are the original terrazzo flooring yeah. um, so that's why they're all speckled and really cool design yeah, the gold uh, yeah. trim around oh, yeah I don't know, we tried to keep as much of the detail in the building um, like that wall we kept over there mm -hmm. uh, we did redo the ceilings because they weren't salvageable but yeah, the, we tried the ceilings are another I see there's just too many detail great details the ceiling was amazing. I, I was just like, ah, it, just everything, amazing. Um, so it was nice that seeing you grow over ten years, and you're just like hustling over here, hustling over there. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I'm gonna make my own joint here. Yeah, it it's was super dope. Honestly, I couldn't. You know, I came from a regular, super middle class family, and um, you know. You go to school and then they want you to go to college and I really couldn't afford it like a four year going away college I did the ECC thing and I I was not a fan of it so I'm, I'm um, I actually you. like dropped out I think I dropped out like three times <laughs> yeah. I like ghosted oh, one day and just never went back so with uh, with this joint specifically I want you to go in depth of uh, like because I know some of the drinks are named after certain quotes and and where did all um, that come from? Yeah. Like, because I think that's like huge for me. Like so, that. yeah. Like I mentioned, I really, you know, between a rock and a hard place, didn't really afford to go to college and I was in management already. So to me, I was like, I have a pretty good job, right? I get paid well, I do what I like, and then I started bartending. Absolutely loved it. I just. Mm -hmm loved creating a space where people can enjoy each other and and have new memories and you know get away and go out in the town um, a lot of that came from my grandfather who for our family was like the, the rock of the family and it was a 
huge thing when you were like turn 21 he loved to go to the bars like he's like that staple beer drinker and like christmas presents were always like beer magnets yeah, and yeah. you know like here's some beer <laughs> socks so, like, whatever it was so it was really fun to like that was just the thing when you were 20 turning 21 or something like he would take you to the bar and like teach you bar etiquette you know Tip your bartender, always yes. push in your chair, and you know, if, if you buy around or they buy around, you buy yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. And it was just a really fun atmosphere, and everyone looked forward to it like his friends, friends' kids, all the things. So, um, his name was Vern, mm -hmm. Vern's Tavern, and he created so many memories for us, and I wanted to share that with my loved ones um, and extended family and friends and the community so yeah it's, <laughs> it's, no and it's super touching like yeah. that when when I was asked to paint um, you know I said oh you know your pops is gonna be happy about this yeah and, you know and then when she gave me the in-depth story I was just like yo this is this is deep this yeah. is deep so he was um, a pretty cool dude yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was the type of person where like his home he was a really hard exterior shell of a man you know like we called him a bear he's like kind of grumpy but on the inside like his how his home was open nice. to anybody yeah. that needed it he, there was plenty of people that lived with my grandparents when they needed to and like me being one of them as well at one point and he worked so hard for not only the family but for people that were important to him and that's what he prided himself on afterwards was creating a space where like yeah you worked really really hard but now you can enjoy each other and enjoy your family yeah. and even though he was like kind of grumpy on the outside you could tell how much it meant to him to have his family there and friends there enjoying themselves mm -hmm. whether it was like camping or cooking outside or like christmas yeah. whatever it was yeah and that's i want to embody that here so if you feel i want you to feel special here i want you to feel like all the warm fuzzies totally i guess welcome. just like yeah. like welcome yeah like yeah. everyone is welcome here you're welcome here we're a little bit like between fancy and old tavern um so it can be both it can be date yeah. night no for sure or it like be date night. jeans but, and a beer but it's night. nice because it's the lounge it's yeah. it's a cool lounge like you just get off work planning yeah. all day or something I don't know. exactly you come hang out and we're gonna be excited to hang yeah. out with you yeah. <laughs> So, I guess we could wrap this up. It was super awesome being here. Thank you. Grand opening, everything was awesome. Yeah, right. yeah. we surprised my dad. So my dad, Vern's son, um, my dad, Jim, uh, he wasn't able right now to be around a lot of people and we wanted to, you know, choose a date where we could open it was special. And my sister was like, oh, we should do it on dad's birthday. <laughs> and funny story so my dad because he's sneaky was actually going to call the tavern and say oh like I'd like to book a party and then have my family pay for it like under a fake name or something so that he could pay me because he knows I would never make him pay me like pay yeah. for it right, right, right. and then so Jen was like we should do it anyway and right. then just surprise yeah. him so that's what we did and it was pretty cool that's awesome. He was totally surprised. We did it in no, the that's afternoon. Mm -hmm. That is so insane. Yeah. <laughs> so. That it's just a full three six three sixty. Yeah. I can't even talk. That's that's deep. That's that's super sweet. I'm sure he was just like. Yeah, it was funny. We had the worst morning too. So, he's recovering from some health issues, and like he he can have shakes, like malts, and it's like what he loves right now. So. We're hanging out. Jennifer went and got like a bunch of malts from Blue Box Cafe, a local business. <laughs> and we put this fridge together in the back, and Jennifer put like it in the door. And of course, we don't know how to put together a fridge, right? So all the milkshakes fell out of the door onto the floor. <laughs> and then I was running late to pick up my dad, and he's like grumpy. And then it started raining, and we're like, oh right, man, this is just, this is just great. We're like, yeah. this is friggin' great. And then as soon as we walked up, we had a little red ribbon on the door. We did our own little ribbon cutting and we That's told sweet. him, yeah, it turned his whole day around yeah. and we were all so happy and he like karate chopped the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> and it was perfect. It was exactly that what is, it was supposed to be. That's yeah. so, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm super happy for you. Thank you. 
You're gonna crush it. Yay. Definitely please come out, check out Vern's yes. cool hip spot. Yay. So thanks for letting me do my thing here. Yeah, as well. of course. Thank you for having me and, <laughs> and talking to me and letting me like share all the special sweet, things. Sweet, sweet, sweet.